Hello there, welcome back. This is just a very, very, very quick review on this knife. I'll put the details of it in the video description. This is from Kima, or Sima, and I got this from Gearbest website. It's basically a little lock knife, very, very sharp, exceptionally well made as well. There's no rock in it at all. And I'll just run through the features of it. I'm pretty impressed with it, very, very cheap but well made. Got a little belt clip here and we've got our main blade with an extremely sharp edge on it. And that locks into position so you've got a little assist there to get it out. There you go. Here it lock, click and you release it by just pressing that in there. There you go. Comes in a case as well, I'll show you that in a second. But there's also end of the blade on here. So you've got the main one, and then you've got another one. I'll just put the main one away. That one sounds like it locks, but it doesn't. That's just free. So that one is a belt cutter, cutting your seat belt off in the advent of a crash. But I actually find this one quite difficult to get out because I haven't really got any nails and you need pretty big nails to be able to pull that out. I'm sure most people wouldn't have a problem though. So that's got your belt cutter and it's also got a little screwdriver, flat screwdriver there. On the front of the knife, we've got this. It's like a little wrench. So you've got various size hex fittings there, got another one there, you've got a bottle opener, and on either side you've got two spoke keys. Now if you don't know what they are, they're for cyclists. So if you have a big get off and you get a buckled wheel, you can straighten it using spoke keys. I haven't used these particular ones, but I have used spoke keys before, because my daughter had a terribly buckled wheel on her bike and I managed to straighten it up. Basically, you just loosen some spokes and tighten other spokes, and it pulls it back into line. So that's pretty useful. You know, if you had, had this as part of your cycling kit. And that's just held in place like that. And that doesn't come out until you just lever that up. Just lever it up a little bit, pull that out. Pretty useful. Now, hopefully you should have noticed two extra things. We've got this which is for smashing windows. I haven't smashed any with it, but I'm sure it'll work quite well. It's very, very pointed. And the unit itself is very solid, so it's not gonna fall apart in your hands. And this is almost like a socket set. In fact, you could plug a socket into there and <coughs> And the case that this comes in has actually got some fittings, so I'll dig that out now. Right, that's a case. That goes in there. Velcro keeps it in. It's got a belt loop on the back hanger. So you can attach it to your belt or you can put it on your molly system, on your backpacks. And in here, there's numerous little screwdriver fittings, including star-shaped ones, little Allen keys. And the Allen key ones are actually the same size as you would have on telescopic sights for your mounts. So if ever they came loose and you're out in the field, you could actually tighten them back up. So here we go, we'll put the little star shape one in. Basically that goes in there. <laughs> and you can just use it like a socket set. And by flicking that over in there, you can change the direction that it locks in so you can tighten something or you can loosen it. Ah, I've never used that. And I couldn't see a situation when I would use that. But it's a nice thing to have. But you know the old saying, it's better to have something and not need it than need it and not have it. And on that note, I'll just show you the fittings. It really could do with a crosshead screwdriver fitting on there because that's a very, very common fitting in the UK. We don't have many flat screws or star-shaped screws, but we have a lot of the crosshead screws. They're in pretty much everything. 
that's a minor gripe though because I mean most people have got drill sets and all sorts of things and screwdrivers and everything at home you could simply take one of these out that you thought you wouldn't need and put a, a crosshead one in so there you go yet another little convenient very very well made cheap knife coming out of China back in the day these would have cost loads of money but just check out the link in the video description I think they're actually on offer as well so yeah, they cost next to nout there's no reason now why you can't have a decent little pocket knife I'm not sure whether this would come under EDC possibly about three inches long the blade maybe three and a half so you might be pushing it but um, I can't imagine anybody complaining about that unless you've got it actually out and you're attacking people with it but you're always going to get wrong for that thanks very much for watching check out my other product reviews there's a playlist for them on my channel. See you next time.